just thinking about six degrees of separation, which is the name of a film, but that's not really what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that supposed phenomenon which says that everybody in the world is connected to one another through six degrees of separation, uh, through six um, connections between one person and the next. So, um, I can't think today. I can't think. I've started making this video like four times, but I'm just not getting anywhere with it. I mean, I know what I want to say, it's to do with, you know, us all being connected, not in any kind of weird, mystical, spiritual way, but purely pragmatically, you know, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows you, you know, that kind of thing. Six degrees of separation. It's a film, isn't it? So in theory, you know, I could, I could get this cup into your hand by giving it to somebody who knows somebody in a city near where you live, who knows somebody who, knew, who knows somebody in the street where you live, who knows somebody who drinks in the same bar that you do, who knows you, you know. So I could, that's the idea of the six degrees of separation thing. Well, I think it's really interesting. What I like about it is the way, it, not, not the fact that it homogenises us, you know, not just make us all alike. It keeps us really different, actually. I think it keeps us really different. But, um, but it still provides a kind of connective tissue that um, uh, it doesn't just connect us actually, connective isn't the right word, it's, it's a dynamic tissue that allows for activity to take place between us, like the passing of a cup across a continent, but also all kinds of other uh, ways for enabling you and I to talk to one another and you and I to, to avoid one another, but, but still participate in a, in a, a kind of society uh, but it's a society of connections and differences, and that's what the whole six degrees of separation thing does, I think. My favourite instantiation of it, actually, is a website called bandtoband.com. You might have heard of it, bandtoband.com. It's been in for ages. But um, basically it's a facility where you can type in the names of any two musicians, Muddy Waters and Johnny Rotten. That's, well, that's a bad example, but any two musicians or bands, and it'll find the connections between them. So it'll say, you know, this musician played in this band with this other musician who was in this band with this other musician who played on this album, who which also featured this artist. And sooner or later, you know, you get the most obscure connections between people. And usually within six, um, as I say, connections, sometimes a lot more than that, but, but it does connect up eventually, you know. Every musician in the world, it seems at least, looking at that website, every musician in the world is connected by some kind of relationship, a degree of separation to every other musician in the world. And the same kind of thing is true here, isn't it? The same kind of thing is true of, of uh, the various social media sites like YouTube. You know, I've probably got in my subscriber, in my subscription base, I've probably got someone who is also, either if not in yours, then someone who is in someone who is in someone who is in yours. You know, we're connected through that way. Or I've got someone who's a contact, who's, a, who's got a contact, who's got a contact, who is one of your contacts. You know, we all kind of link up in that way, don't we? Uh, yeah, fascinating all that. Sorry, this isn't a very coherent video. I'm feeling very old today. Uh, well, see you on the flip side.